Hello wonderful subscribers to Big Pastor Bim TV and my lovely viewers. I thank you for sticking to this channel because God's got something for you. We are on day 15 of the devotional Winning Wisdom devotional for women by Pastor Bim. It's day 15 and day 15 is such an awesome one saying to us that the weapon of our warfare are not carnal. Wow, that's awesome. That means we've got weapons that are, you know, doing the work for us. They are not carnal. They are not something we can physically touch or see. Not tangible, but in the realm of the spirit, they are, you know, tangible and effective because that is where they operate. The weapon of our warfare are not carnal. That is the title of today's, today's um, article. The weapons of our warfare are not carnal. Remember that song. One of the first few songs I learned when I became a born again Christian. Lovely songs. For they are mighty, for they are mighty. The weapons of our warfare are not carnal. For they are mighty in the Holy Ghost. They are mighty in the pulling down of strongholds. For they are mighty, they are mighty. They are mighty in the pulling down of strongholds. For they are mighty in the Holy Ghost. In the Holy Ghost, in the Holy Spirit, the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. They are not AK-40 or spears and arrow, but <laughs> what is going on in the realm of the spirit? The weapon of our warfare are not carnal. Thank you, Lord Jesus, because those weapons of our warfare, they are constantly mounting guard, doing justice against anything that terrorizes our, our, our works as children of God. I go straight into the article. It says, what can stand against the Lord's elect? You are a chosen child of God. You have the mark of the lamp upon you. You are his kid. He says, what can stand against the Lord, Lord's elect? No one and no power. No one, no power can stand against you. The Bible even let us know that what can separate us from the love of Christ? Not death, not height. So you are a, an elect of God. He has chosen you. Born again. You have been translated from the kingdom of darkness into kingdom of light. You are elected. So what can stand against the Lord's elect? No one and no power can. This is simple because you have God at work in you to equip you and fight your battle. You are born to reign with him and not to lose. Born to shine and not grow. Born to be above and not beneath. Wow, how awesome. Born to live and not to die. That you may show for the glory of the Lord in the land of the living. You have the power above all powers working on your behalf. The power, capital P, power of God, the power above all power, you have it working in you and on your behalf. Remember that at the mention of his name, every name was bound because he created all things. Psalm 24 makes us realize that 24 says it all. He created everything. In him, everything consists in everything he's involved. So at the mention of his name, every name was bowed and every tongue was confessed that Jesus is Lord. They must acknowledge it. Philippians 2.10 says it. As he was with Joseph, this our God, as he was with Daniel and with Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego in the midst of that fiery, for, for burning fiery furnace. So he is with you as your shield and as your buckler. Psalm 91 verse 4. He's your shield and your buckler. So no evil formed against you shall prosper. Hallelujah. I want to read the adjoining scripture Hebrew 10 35 I will read from the New Living Translation it says do not throw so do not throw away having heard all this so do not throw away this confident trust in God remember great 
the great reward he brings, trusting God, the great reward he brought to, to Joseph. He was not intimidated by, you know, the butler going to the, to, to, to the palace. He says, when you get there, remember me. Tell the king about me. He didn't say he may come on prison. The Bible let us know that even when he was going to fail, he prepared, comported himself. He didn't see himself as a common prisoner. He saw himself as somebody. He knew the God of heaven. He comes with reward. When you display your confidence in God, David spoke to, the, to Goliath and says, this God that has been with me, the God of Israel, who has been with me in dealing with the bear, in tearing apart the, 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 the lion that tries to take away the sheep, that same God will give me the head of Goliath. David said it. And God ne never failed him. Psalm 125, I'm reading from the New Living Translation. I'll take just the first two verses. That says, those who trust in God are as secured as Mount Zion. They are secured. They are stodged as Mount Zion. They are secured. Are you secured? He says, they will not be defeated, but will endure forever. They will keep going. They will keep making accomplishments. Nothing can pull them down. Those who trust in God. Verse 2 says, Just as the mountain surrounds Jerusalem, so the Lord surrounds his people, both now and forever. Both now and forever. He surrounds them. He's around them. He's their shield. He's their buckler. Those who trust, who knows? If you don't know, well, the devil has cheated you of, of the facts. As a child of God, you have God. If you walk in his will, you have him. Hallelujah. John 4, 1 John 4, 4 says, Ye have of God little children and have overcome them, because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. The greater one is on the inside of you. So, it's not a question of somebody is manipulating me spiritually, somebody is, stand, arise, call on your God, be confident in him, resist the devil, put on the old hammer of God, declare that he died at Calvary and it was the perfect walk, no evil formed against you shall prosper. He says, every tongue that rises against you in judgment, you shall condemn. He has given you the authority. The Bible says, you will decree a thing and it shall be established. And light shall come upon your way. Because you can't afford to allow the enemy to put you in darkness. Finally, Ephesians 6.10, I'll read from the New Living Translation. It says, a final word. That's how that scripture begins. A final word, and it's a final word here. For day 15. Be strong in the Lord and his mighty power. Remember I've not said your power. Be strong in the Lord. I'm quoting the scripture for you. It says final word. Ephesians 6 verse 10 New Living Translation. Be strong in the Lord. In the Lord and his mighty power. The word has been spoken. I believe you will be strong. Not in your power, in his mighty power that is unfailing and nothing can surmount. Arise, shine, step into what God has asked you to step into in his name with his backing. And remember our title that says, the weapon of our warfare are not carnal. Keep moving no matter what you see. Keep moving. They are lying vanities. When you have the Lord of hosts in the boats, don't be like Peter and the other disciples that say, God, are you, where are you, Jesus? Are you sleeping? Do you care that we perish? No, you will not perish because Jesus is in the boats. Thank you for watching. See you for day 16.